Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so here I am, post-surgery. Uh, last time I talked to you guys, I told you about rupturing my bicep when I was out in Dallas. And when I came back, MRI results showed that I had a uh, full rupture of the bicep brachii tendon, where it attaches on the radial tuberosity of the radial bone. Uh, so I had three different consultations with orthopedic surgeons in the area, and I came across Dr. Banfi. He also did Callum Von Monger's uh, knee and bicep, and he's going to do his bicep again um, come September. I fell in love with Banfi and his team. Um, you know, the energy that he put out there, uh, you know, his, his nurse, nurse practitioner was great, his fellow was great, and on top of that, Banfi had some amazing reviews. So I felt extremely comfortable with him, and to boot, he was able to get me into surgery the next day. And if you guys know surgeries like this, you really got to get in right away because the muscle starts to atrophy, the tendon starts to atrophy, and the more it shrinks up, the harder it is to pull it down. I went in the next day, and they operated on it. So what they did is they took the, the radial bone, and they drill a hole through it right through the tuberosity. They take the tendon, and they stitch in this really high polymer string, uh, which is stronger than like really high tensile uh, fishing wire. And they tie like a little button to it, and they drop the button down through the hole, flip it so it's like an anchor, and pull on the sutures, and that really pulls the tendon down into the bone and they stitch everything up there. On top of that, I also had uh, some partial tears in the back of my tricep, and I was like, all right, well, while you're in there, let's do something. So he kind of scuffed it up a little bit and uh, threw some PRP injections in there. So here I am five days post-surgery, and uh, you know, I'm still really positive about this whole um, process and everything, like I told you guys before, you know, I'm, I'm kind of upbeat about this in a strange way. Um, I also like surgery and I like stories and I'm a boy and more war stories and things like that are kind of cool to tell. So uh, this kind of just builds into the legend of uh, Brad Rowe, the injured bionic man.
All right, so I am five days post-surgery, and I just came in to show you guys a little bit of a leg day. Uh, nothing too crazy, just trying to keep some blood flow. Um, I'm a true believer that you should try to continue to maintain activity when you're dealing with injury, um, post-surgically especially. Uh, you know, you want to keep blood flow. The better blood flow is, the better nutrient flow is to that, you know, the, the area that's injured, and that's going to help speed up recovery. You know, so I'm not looking to build muscle or anything like that. It's just more or less maintaining what I have, getting some blood flow, burning off some calories. Um, right now, muscles to sweat too much. It's a little warm and humid out here, so that last set of lunges uh, kind of made me sweat. I can't get the cast wet, um, so that's why I didn't really push too hard. But it was enough to get me out of the house, make me feel better about myself, and put my body in a prime position to heal. Everything I did was all pin loaded, so this is stuff that you can do with one arm, um, you know, without carrying weights or putting yourself in a risk of getting injured, things like that. So I'm gonna go through a whole series of training over the next few weeks, so this whole recovery phase, and show you guys how to train and work around injury. Um, obviously I can't do anything with my right arm. I can use my shoulder, they want me to keep my shoulder mobile so it doesn't freeze up. So I'm gonna go through different exercises, chest exercises, triceps, all that type of stuff over the next few weeks, and show you guys that you can still train, you can maintain a physique, you can maintain body composition through training, proper diet, and doing everything you can to improve recovery as best as possible. So stay tuned, get a ton more content coming up, road back to the stage, and bigger biceps. So earlier today, I brought you guys through a little leg training video, and you know, it wasn't anything crazy, but it was just try to get some blood flow, um, you know, try to keep the muscle tissue full, and things like that also help aid in recovery. The more blood flow you have, uh, the more nutrients are gonna go to the muscle, the tendon, and all that area. So it's really gonna speed up recovery. Um, Diet-wise, I've been doing intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet. Uh, today is day three of a high protein portion of it. So I did five days of really high fats at about an 80-20 ratio of fat to protein. Uh, with 16 hours of fasting and today I'm on six uh, three days straight 16 hours of fasting and I'm probably at a 50 50 protein to fat ratio tonight I believe I'm actually gonna take my wife out for dinner it was her birthday on Sunday and we haven't got to celebrate it yet so I think we're gonna get some Italian and I'm gonna bring some carbs back in but tomorrow I'll go right back into the intermittent fasting and uh, ketogenic diet so I'm gonna be doing this cyclical rotations of my baseline keto um, total refeed days on high fat and I'll eat the entire day of an 80-20 ratio of uh, fats to protein and then I'll do a few days of, of high protein um, really just to get the metabolism going. My biggest goal here is to maintain a decent body fat and uh, try to keep some of this lean tissue. So this morning we also did a DEXA scan and I'm, I'm documenting all this as part of my process, part of the journey back. Uh, so I got my body fat tested and I was at 240 pounds and 5.8% body fat. Um, I was pretty happy with that, seeing as you know I'm two and a half weeks post show, and that first week post show I kind of ate like crap. Um, you know I wasn't expecting to be down and out like this, uh, so I didn't really exercise all that week. My stepdad was in town, spent a few days with me, so I went out and just enjoyed some dinners with him and enjoyed some food here and there. Went out to Dallas, you know we were at barbecues and, and dinners and things like that, and I didn't want to be. I just wanted to enjoy my time there. You know, I've been prepping for 27 weeks, so I was snacking on chips, and one of my clients bought me donuts and everything else. You know, I was eating desserts, having glasses of wine. And I just kind of enjoyed myself for a weekend. Um, then when I got back, you know, I started the whole intermittent fasting. So my goal would be I'd like to maintain a sub 8% body fat. So I'll get this tested every few weeks, and you know, to kind of see where I'm at, see where my lean body mass is, uh, see how much muscle I've lost, things like that. But Throughout this whole process, I'm gonna document different training. I'm gonna show you guys that, you know, you can still train arm, I can still train chest. Um, obviously, I can't use my right arm. There are a ton of studies out there that show that unilateral training can actually promote growth on the opposite side. So people are worried about, oh, if I just train my left arm, my left arm's gonna get huge. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bigger, but it's also gonna promote growth in the other arm as well. And again, like I said, you're, you're increasing blood flow, you're increasing metabolism, things like that. So the benefits far outweigh the cons of me training unilaterally. Um, so I'll be able to do some single leg, uh, single chest presses, I'll be able to do some lateral raises, biceps, triceps here, some single arm rows, some single arm pull downs, things like that. Uh, they do want me to keep this right shoulder as mobile as possible because you don't want the shoulder to freeze up. So I can get into uh, like a lateral delt machine where I can just 
put the pad on my tricep and I can lift up and do some lateral raises there to help, you know, with the, uh, my, my delts. You know, I'm really positive about the recovery process. I'm waiting for the people at New Fit to send me out another newbie and that's really gonna expedite the recovery process as well. I ordered all the peptides I need, BPC-157, TB-500, some glutathione as well. Started some collagen peptide protein which is made from bone broth, uh, and that's really supposed to help promote recovery of, of muscle tendon issues. So I'm doing everything under the sun, basically, to facilitate me being back in the gym as fast as possible. And I'm gonna document all that, guys, all that stuff for you guys. When everything comes in, I'll tell you exactly how much I'm taking, what I'm doing, blah, 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 everything you need to know. So follow along, and uh, I'm excited to bring along this journey for you guys. I'm actually pretty upbeat about it. That little leg day today, I left the gym a little euphoric and, and really feeling myself. So, um, you know, positive attitude is the biggest thing in any type of injury or any type of situation at all. So follow along and uh, I'll get back to having 20 inch guns in no time.